Hello and welcome to episode three of E-Cup Extra. Today we'll be discussing some last 16 ties, looking ahead to the ties of the quarterfinals and also giving you all the information you need to follow along on our live finals day this Sunday on the 23rd of May. The quarterfinals and semi-finals draws of the E-County Cup have been made and are available on your screen right now. As mentioned, the finals event will happen this Sunday on the 23rd of May at Meadowbank Football Ground. The final eight competitors will battle it out to become the first ever E-County Cup champion. Now we will discuss the standout quarterfinal ties. Boy, do you want to talk us through the game with the biggest scoreline from the last 16? Yeah, it was between Epson and Walking Veterans. Uh, the scoreline was 8-3 and it was a game between Bayern and LFC. Um, it was a 11-8 goal thriller and it was biggest scoreline of, of the whole round, whereas the other games were like four or five goals each. The other one That's was Billingfold and Sheen Lions, James? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a, a much tighter game. Probably the sort of the, the tightest um, of the round, I'd say. Uh, so Joseph from Chillingfold, uh, Carlos representing Sheen Lions. Uh, that was 3-2. So uh, both teams picked Soccer Aid as their team. But as we know, for the live finals, so quarterfinals onwards, uh, they're not going to be able to, to play as Soccer Aid. Uh, they might match each other with other teams. But yeah, no, no Soccer Aid allowed for them. Yeah, like the, the most uh, used teams were Liverpool, PSG and France. So probably they would stick to those ones instead of Soccer Aid, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We shall see. Successful with them. Why well, my move. Um, but yeah, as we say, those uh, those two, so Joseph and um, and Epson Mignol, they put their place into the quarterfinals on live finals day on Sunday, twenty third of May. Um, so some big into the, in that in that finals day. And um, boy, do you want to talk us through your standout tie? Yeah, my personal pick would be um, Ryan Spark Vale versus Ryan Priory. Um, that's Ryan against Callum. We've spoken about Ryan before. Um, he streams on Twitch his games and. He's been very active on socials around the cup and his team also. Um, some info about Callum, as we have been really spoken about him before. Um, he's a Tottenham fan and his favourite team is on France. He actually used France against um, Royal Holloway, winning 6-1. This is his previous tie. And Ryan comes from winning 2-1, also a really tight game. And he used LFC, so probably they will keep using those teams, seeing as they cannot use soccer team. And your personal pick, James? Yeah, so for me, um, we had Addiscom, um, which is Mick, uh, Addiscom Casuals against Byfleet, and that was Sam. Um, so, uh, well, that is Sam, sorry, coming into the quarterfinals. Um, so Mick comes in off the back of a 3-0 win against Ottershaw. Uh, he used PSG in that game. And Sam also a three-goal winning margin, 4-1 uh, win against Milford and Whitley using uh, Liverpool. So... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, firstly, which teams they select on the day. Um, and yeah, this, that, that, that has the makings of a, of a high-scoring match. So watch this space. The final eight participants will not only be battling out to become the first ever E-County Cup champion, but there's also some prizes to one, including a gaming bus experience courtesy of Game in Action. Well, that's all we've got time for. Thank you very much for tuning in to episode three of E-Cup Extra. We'll be back for our final episode after the County Cup finals day on Sunday the 23rd of May in a couple of weeks. Thanks very much.